Uh, here we are given a question uh, in which uh, we, it says that we have a 35 kg body at the top of a plane inclined at 30, inclined at 25 degrees from the horizontal and slides with an acceleration of 1.5 meter per second square. We have to calculate the coefficient of friction. So we'll first start by drawing a figure. So this is an inclined plane. We have a mass over here, which is of 35 kgs. And this is the angle of inclination, which right now I'm mentioning as theta. And this angle is 90 degrees. We'll first draw a free body diagram on this mass, which will depict the force acting on it. So this is a normal reaction. And this is the downward weight due to the gravity. Let's denote it by W. Drawing it separately, we have this over here as a mass. This is the normal reaction. This is the weight, which is denoted by W. And over here we have the inclined plane. And this is an angle of theta. Now since we have to equate the forces in different directions, that is horizontal and vertical. So first off, we need to factorize this W in two forms, which is horizontal and vertical components. So let's do it. Since this is an angle of theta and here we have W. So along the plane, we'll have a force of W sine theta. And towards the down, we'll have a force of W cos theta. While the normal reaction remains as it is. So these are the forces, which is which includes normal reaction and the force due to gravity. But there is another force, which is friction. Over here, if we'll see that the tendency of this block is to move towards this side. So the friction will act opposite to it, which is towards here. Let's denote it by a small f. It will include the friction in our free body diagram as well. So this will come over here and this will come over here. So now we have a total of four forces which are acting on this block. And now we have to make the equations with respect to the acceleration. We know that it is accelerating towards this side. So what we'll write it as W sine theta minus friction force will be equal to mass, which is right now M. But we know that M is equal to, we'll see the question. They have given us a mass of 35 and an angle of 25. So the mass is equal to 35. And the angle which is theta is equal to 25 degrees. We'll keep this at side and we'll use it once we proceed. So this is mass times acceleration. Let's name this as equation one. So these are the forces which are acting along the plane. But what, are the, what about the forces which are acting perpendicular? Since there is no movement in the particular direction, this means that the forces are equal. That is the net force towards the perpendicular side is zero. Let's name this as equation two. And we have another equation 
which is for the weight and the weight is mass times gravity this is equation 3 now using these three equations and in fact yet there is another equation which is of friction so friction is frictional coefficient or coefficient of friction which I will denote as mu k times normal reaction so this is the equation using these four equations we'll move further uh, if we will use equation 1 and equation uh, 4 then we can rewrite this as w sine theta minus mu k times n which is normal reaction and this will be equal to n so this is from first and fourth we know the value of w from equation 3 which is mg and we know the value of n which is normal reaction and it is w cos theta so we'll place both over here so this will become mg sine theta minus mu k where the normal reaction is w cos theta and this is equal to ma again there is another w so we'll again replace that by mg now if you'll notice there is m over here which is common so this can be easily cancelled out so the final equation which we are getting is g of sine theta minus mu k g cos theta is equal to a we know the value of g we know the value of theta and we know the value of a so the only unknown is mu k so let's rearrange this equation we'll take g sine theta and we'll take a over to the left so it's sine changes and we take this part over to the right so it's sign changes again so it gives me this uh, dividing both sides by g cos theta so we get g sin theta minus a over g cos theta is equal to mu k Now we'll plug in the values of g, theta and a. So the g is 9.8 meter per second square. The value of theta is 25 degrees. The value of a is 1.5 meter per second square over the value of g yet again it is 9.8 and the value of theta is 25 degrees. So this is equal to mu k. If we'll solve this expression, we'll get mu k or the coefficient of friction. This will be our final answer.